Apollo 13, NASA's most dangerous mission that almost ended in space. In April 1970, three astronauts blasted off into space, but what was supposed to be a routine mission to the moon turned into a terrifying fight for survival. This is the real story of Apollo 13, NASA's most dangerous mission that almost ended in tragedy. Apollo 13 launched on April 11, 1970, with three brave astronauts, Jim Lovell, Fred Hayes, and Jack Swigert. Their goal, to land on the moon, just like Apollo 11 had done months earlier. But two days later, while they were 200,000 miles from Earth, boom, a loud explosion shook the spacecraft. An oxygen tank had burst. Jack Swigert calmly radioed, Houston, we've had a problem. The explosion knocked out the power and oxygen supply. The moon landing was canceled. Now, the only mission left was survival. The crew moved into the small lunar module, not built for long-term survival. They were cold, cramped, and low on food and water. Carbon dioxide levels were rising fast. Engineers on Earth scrambled to find a solution using only what was aboard the spacecraft. Against all odds, the astronauts used makeshift systems to stay alive. On April 17, 1970, after four terrifying days, Apollo 13 splashed down safely in the Pacific Ocean. Apollo 13 was called a successful failure. They didn't land on the moon, but they proved that teamwork, quick thinking and courage can turn disaster into survival. This is not fiction. This is the true story of Apollo 13.